So we're doing something really cool in this video today. We're in the central highlands of Vietnam in Pleiku, where an ethnic minority group called the Banar people resides, and we're joining them in their village to a very special lunch experience. Usually, most of the reserves in Pleiku are protected and don't allow many tourists to enter, but my host, who is Vietnamese and lives in Pleiku, is taking us to this village because it's open usually only for the Vietnamese locals to experience their food and culture. Also, a quick note, you will notice in the video I used the term indigenous to label this tribe. This is because my host translated for me and in Vietnamese, the direct translations of the Banar people are the indigenous or the people of the land. So this is the reason why I call them that. But with all that being said, let's get straight into the video and eat all this food. So this is the village. People used to live here in these bungalows and huts. The indigenous people of Pleiku, Vietnam, but now has turned into a place where we could come and enjoy their delicious food and culture. All right, so we're walking through these village restaurant bungalow things and we're gonna go talk to the chefs. The drive here was pretty rough. We had to go through some rough terrains to get to where this community of indigenous people is. And I was told that they don't speak Vietnamese pretty well and I'm with Ha, he speaks Vietnamese. So hopefully we get a good conversation going. Em cái này là mình nướng bằng hơi đúng không? Dạ, mình nướng bao lâu? Hai tiếng à? Cho một con gà á hả? Ồ. Vì là mình nó mình nướng bằng hơi là mình đâu có đâu có nướng trực tiếp lên cái hơi. Cái này nướng bằng hơi. Một con gà nướng hai tiếng. So this is how they make their traditional rice, liquor, and wine. They pickle it in here for about two weeks and let it sit here for it to get nice and tasty. This is the bamboos where they're preparing to put the sticky, tasty rice in there for it to sit for about a couple hours. As you can see, the theme of this place is they put a lot of care, work, and detail in their food as a, a lot of the dishes that they're preparing right now it takes a long time so that it could get nice moist juicy and tasty just for us to eat so what you guys saw before was how they prepared our chicken and our meats we had a conversation with them it was a little bit broken i guess they speak like a different sort of language they had told us that the reason why they cook like that is for the smoke to marinate and to cook the meat and that the way it does that is that the fire doesn't directly touch the chicken or the beef. The smoke just smokes up the chicken so that all the flavors, marination, can roast the meat. And yeah, it smells really delicious. That's how they're making all the rest of their food too, with great care and precision. So I'm really excited. We're about to eat. <laughs> Okay. You start drinking this weed liquor, we have to pour in water. Wait a day. Okay, I'm going to put it in there. This is the cup. Eat the cup, eat the cup, and eat the cup. If you eat the cup, it's okay. It's like eating the cup with a cup of water. Right now, we want... It's easy to eat. 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 Uống đi Ừ Ủa Chị nào nó lo đó đã Lên 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 Ok 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 rồi ok rồi Ngừng Ok bạn So it's a very interesting flavor Tastes like rice wine but A little more alcoholy It was actually pretty strong but very sweet Yeah I'm not gonna lie I'm pretty lit right now So what you're seeing us drink right now Here in the group That little thing that we were showing is a special indigenous rice wine. It's extra strong and you have to drink it in a special way. Uh, so like, it's kind of confusing, so I'll explain it the best I can. There's a little leaf above it and it measures the alcohol content of the wine. And every time that two people take a shot, it goes down. You have to add more water to take the next shot. But yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good. As you can 
see the meat is here. It's looking very crispy and delicious. And we're supposed to eat this meal with the sour mango, the bamboo sticky rice, and wash it down with this crazy strong rice wine. So wish me luck. This is really hot. This is rice and bamboo stick. I did the honors and cut my bamboo sticky rice for me. Now I'm about to try this <laughs> meat. Oh my god. This meat is super delicious and fatty and chewy. They definitely took two hours to cook this. Super fire. Compliments the sticky rice really well. Oh my god. The fat just melts in your mouth. It's really juicy. The sticky rice is really bland, but at the same time, it has a really chewy texture, so it complements the sweet and saltiness of the meat very well. And the combination of both of this, delicious. This is pork, by the way. Tastes like pork steak and belly. Really crunchy. And also there's parts of the kebab, where it's really fatty, and the fat just oozes all over your mouth. Fire. Oh my gosh, just look at that. <laughs> Gonna try this chicken thigh now. Oh my god. Super crispy. Very moist. I want to notice that this isn't too marinated or salty or anything, so that's why we dipped in the spices. And I'm gonna try it. Mm. It's hard to explain how good this is. It has a very foreign taste to it. Not like any rotisserie chicken or anything I've tasted before. The marination is like really distinct. It's like a mesquite. Barbecue, very sweet. But the crunchiness of um, some of the slivers of the chicken really um, tops it off. Since these meats took two hours to roast, we had to wait a little bit longer than the average restaurant wait time. Let me tell you, it is super worth it. We're gonna try some traditional indigenous style rice organic chicken porridge from what I learned they cook it a different way than the Vietnamese people it's supposed to be gamer and um, it's supposed to just taste different so let me try it I can definitely taste the difference it's looser than traditional porridge congee and it tastes like saltier, more meatier, because they use all the chicken in there, the gizzards, intestines, and everything. Overall, it's pretty delicious. So I was so excited about the food and rushing to my bungalow that I forgot to admire how beautiful this place is. I'm walking the courtyard, but yeah, this place is really nice. The detail in this um, establishment is really uh, interesting. They have a bunch of statues everywhere. So yeah, let me show you. So in Vietnamese, the term for cheers is yo or kum li. But here in the indigenous play coup, it's yum bai. Yum bai. Yum bai. Oh, yum bai, yum bai. Wow. Wow. Another rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wine shot. Yum bai. Yum bai. Hi, back. Go. Yum bai. 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 Yum
So Leia gave up on me, so I basically had a drink, that whole portion to myself. So if I pass out now, see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Also, please like this video and subscribe to the channel to see more food vlogs.